Al-Imam Al-Jawad, Salamullahi Alayh. This Imam, although he lived a very short life, in fact, his life is the shortest among all the Ma'sumin alayhim salam being martyred at the age of 25 only, very young which tells you the oppression that our Imams السلام, were facing and the difficulties they used to go through. Yet, even though his life was very short, yet it was full of knowledge, it was full of significance and importance and contribution to saving this religion. Imam السلام, was born in the city of Medina, but he was born in the latter part of Imam al-Rida's life. One of his titles is Al-Jawad. Jawad means a generous, generous. You go to somebody's house and he is generous. You attend his table, his dinner, and he is generous. You find he will give you everything that he could afford. That's a generosity. Generosity does not have to deal with money. Some people are rich, wealthy, but they're stingy. But some people are poor, but they're generous. They would give. It doesn't deal with how much money they have, rich or poor. No, no. It's a trait. Characteristic. That's a human being, a regular human being. Imagine Imam Al-Jawad, salamullahi alayhi, whose name is Jawad. Imam Al-Jawad, salamullahi alayhi, we say to him, after saying to him, Assalamu alayka ya kalimatallah, we say to him, Assalamu alayka ya rahmatallah. Peace be upon you, O oh one who is a mercy of Allah. Mercy. A mercy who guides, a mercy who teaches, a mercy through his presence. In his words, his young age, he teaches, he educates. It is said, one day he was with a person who used to rent camels back in those days you know how these days for example when you go to a city you might rent a car a vehicle back in those days they used to rent camels so one day he was on a camel that was a rental camel and he was heading to Baghdad when they arrived he had gave to the person 400 dinars 400 dinars 400 golden coins that's a lot of money so he was very generous with him. But this person became a bit greedy. He said, you know, give me some more. You know, add some more. Imam Salamullah being the mercy of Allah. A mercy of Allah teaches, educates. Like a compassionate father. Like a loving mother. The Imam Salamullah alayhi, he said to him, Subhanallah, glorified be Allah. Don't you know that Allah does not stop increasing people as long as they don't stop thanking him? being grateful to him. So if you are grateful to Allah, he will increase you, he will give you. In other words, the Imam in such a polite way, Imam did not say to him, what do you mean? Enough, I gave you already 400. Most of us would have said that. How greedy are you? How stingy are you? Right there, he taught this individual how to thank Allah, but with utmost compassion, with utmost mercy. How to be content with what Allah has given him. And that if he thanks Allah, Allah will give him even more. This is the rahmah. This is the compassion. Imam al-Jawad, we read about him rahmah. Rahmatullah. And then we read about him. As-salamu alayka ayyuha al-nur al-sati'. As-salamu alayka ayyuha al-badru al-tali'. Nur al-sati'. Nur. What is nur? Light. What does sati' means? You know what Musata means? Bright. Very bright. You know when the sun is so bright in the skies, you see it very bright. Imam is like that sun. Of course, metaphorically, he's greater than the sun. He's very clear. Badrul Tala. Badr. I don't know if you've ever been in a place at night when it's dark. Comple There's no light, completely. And you see full moon. Full moon in Arabic is called Badr. You know, usually in the middle of the month, the moon becomes complete, becomes a badr, full circle. If you go to an area, sometimes maybe in a camp or somewhere where it's completely dark, and you look at how bright this moon is, and really you could see in front of you because of the light of the moon, you could see how great it is. Ahlul Bayt are like this. Noor. They light, they guide, they show you your path. They are so clear to find and they guide. They're so clear even to their enemies. Al-Ma'moon al-Abbasi. Ma'moon. 
who killed Imam Rabba alayhi salam. He takes his daughter, Umm al-Fadl, and he tells Imam al-Jawad, I would like you to marry my daughter. Imam al-Jawad, people from Bani al-Abbas, they objected. They said, few days ago, you appointed his father as your successor. Today, you're making him your son-in-law. Then there goes the Khilafah. Khilafah is going to go. He said, he is the most knowledgeable of all of you. In fact, he's the most knowledgeable alive today. He's clear. Noor. Clear. Even his enemies recognize him. Even his enemies know him.